Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I am so excited to build a custom palette with you and show you how to use it. So we're gonna start off with an empty quad palette um, and we're gonna build a rose gold palette today. We're gonna start off with a color called Nimble. Darina B, Nimble, Darina B, not so quick. She's building her own eyeshadow stick of shadows. <laughs> okay, I don't have a career in poem designing or whatever you call it. Okay, the next one is Gentle. This is going to work really good, not only for an eyeshadow, but you can also use it for a highlight, which I absolutely love. Um, the next one is Conspicious? I don't think I'm saying that right, but look at that. Oh, it matches my lipsticks in the background. Okay, and the last is Manipulative. This is one right here, I'm telling you, you may think that's the one I'm probably not gonna use, and you know what? You're wrong. It's probably the one you're gonna fall in love with. Woohoo! Here's a fun little bonus for you, and that is you wanna apply a little bit of eye primer. I didn't even know about this, to be honest with you. But you wanna apply a little bit of eye primer. It's gonna help your shadows really be a little bit bolder and last longer okay you don't need very much this little tiny jar is gonna last forever I guess this isn't a jar but um, all you need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and put one swipe right here because I want to show you a little science experiment so we're gonna do that it doesn't take very much at all just apply it to the upper eyelid and sorry I had a message apply it to the upper eyelid it dries within seconds I like to apply it all the way to the brow line okay so remember we put a little bit of that here. It leaves like a, you can't really fill it on necessarily, but it leaves a little bit of like a silky feeling, which I like, um, but it's really gonna grab on. That's the difference between like a face primer and an eye primer is the eye primer is gonna be a little bit more grabby, whereas a face primer is gonna be a little bit more slick. It's just gonna give that really nice, soft um, feeling to your face, but we're gonna go and show you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use, we're gonna use this color right here, the Nimble. Um, let me grab a brush. Doesn't need to be a fancy one. I don't know why it's so hard for me to make a decision. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab this particular color. I'm gonna put it on both sides and then I'm gonna show you. Okay, here is with the primer. Okay, and then right here is without the primer. You can see here it goes on a little bit more sparse. I flipped it over so you, it wasn't the same shadow, it was two, the same shadow but on each side. Um, so you'll see here, this one's just got a lot more color to it, it picks up a lot more of the shade, whereas this one, although the color is still there, it just doesn't have quite that punch. And I'll tell you, if I left this on throughout the day, this one is going to last a whole lot longer. So that's just a fun little bonus tip for you. All right, let's go ahead and jump in to a, a really fun, beautiful look using this rose gold palette. Whew, that was a mouthful. All right, I wanna go ahead and start off by using my crease. Actually, you know what, I lied. I lied to you, I lied to you. We're gonna use the fluffy crease brush, and I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this manipulative. Now you may think, Darina, this is a crazy color to be starting out with, and you're kind of right. But I will tell you, this has been a game changer for me for sure. Using orange as a transition color really brings out all eye colors, which is just a fun, just a fun pop and a fun fact to really level up your eyeshadow game. So we just go ahead and put it on. Now I'm using a fluffy crease brush. This was just introduced to the full product line, which I'm so excited about because it was supposed to be just a seasonal item. And everybody loved it so much that it's here to stay. All right. So I feel like this look can be really achieved using, you know, a lot of just this brush alone. I do have a couple other ones, but this one, if you're going to get any, this is for sure the one that I say to get. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get this going here. All you're going to do is just put it above. You'll notice I'm not putting it down into the crease of my eye. I'm going right above it. Just with this really pretty soft coppery orangey color and you'll notice once it's on it's just really fun and low-key which I love next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this look a little bit of depth I'm gonna use the traditional crease brush and we're gonna come in with the color nimble I like this because it's just gonna really give the dimension to this look um, and it's pretty simple to do 
what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go to the outer corner and we're gonna go ahead and pop a little bit right in that crease. It's just gonna give it that depth and then right here. So it's kind of a V, um, but more of it's number seven, okay? So we're gonna go against this lash line and then up and a number seven. If I go to a V, it's gonna close that eye down a little bit. So if I use the letter, the number seven, like my hand's not working to be a number seven, you have to be imaginative here, um, imaginative. Um, but what it's gonna do is it's just gonna pop those eyes right up. So if you want something that look, helps you, a fun tip that's gonna help you look a little more awake, a little more ready to slay the day, that is one for you. Alrighty, next we're gonna come in. This is our fun pop of color. I'm gonna be using that fluffy crease brush again. I'm telling you, I absolutely love it. It's a really, really fantastic brush that you can use for lots of different things. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just come in and we're gonna focus on the outer quarter of the eye, or not quarter, the outer half of the eye, I guess you would say. Um, and we're just gonna put this on. You'll notice that it's definitely packing a punch color-wise, which I love. That's how you know that you've got yourself a good quality eye um, shadow pigment um, is that you don't have to use very much but it's not so overwhelming that it is intimidating freeze frame um, have you subscribed to my channel and if so did you click the little bell so you know when new videos are being uploaded you might want to do that that's what we were doing all right, and next we're gonna come in with this gentle color, and actually this is one of my favorite tips. I love to use my finger to apply these, especially the soft shimmery colors. I don't know what it is, it just packs a little bit more pow to it. Um, and what we're gonna go and do, I'm using my ring finger. Traditionally, actually I should have used my pinky just because we're putting it in a smaller spot. But I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this on. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna use a brush to blend it out. But I just feel like this is such a simple way to apply it. Really give it that power factor. Um, and it's very, very simple, right? We all have it. We all have these brushes. Actually, sometimes I like to just like pop it right there in the corner because that's gonna brighten up that inner eye. And like I was telling you, you definitely have, um, with this particular color, you have something you can use for a highlight. I'm gonna show you that here in a little bit um, or in a future video. But look at that. Oh, I just. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so now what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna grab that fluffy brush. I do wanna take a quick intermission so that I can get all the excess off of this brush. So what I like to do is I like to use my brush cleaner. We'll go ahead, because I only have two hands, I need one more. We'll go ahead here and I'm just gonna spray the cloth and then we're gonna get all this color off of this cloth because I want to come in and blend this out, but I don't want to bring a lot of color into the inner above the eye just because it's gonna give it a little bit heavier and I want to have a really light, fun, um, spunky look, if you will. Okay, so what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna start blending from the inner corner out. The reason that we're going to be doing it that way is because I don't want to, again, pull this dark color over. So we're just gonna start here in the inner corner light somewhat circles but then I'm gonna really just kind of fluff it out now if you need to bring this color up like let's say you didn't quite bring it up high enough um, what you could do is the circles to bring it up but I have really applied it pretty evenly on my lids so I just want to kind of blend this out so we're gonna go ahead and just blend this inner corner out we're gonna jump over to this side do the same thing before finishing out the blending on the outer edges just because again the brush is gonna pick up color once you get that blended in you're just really looking here that there's not a harsh transition then you can just kind of come in and go back and forth a little bit really blend this out now if you notice that maybe one side has a little bit more orange than the other side today that didn't happen but it normally does um, all you need to do is you can grab a little bit of the manipulative and just pop it right over the, right on over the top Now, I will tell you another fun trick, and that is don't ever judge your eye makeup until you've got your mascara on. I am one that likes to overdo it. I like to get a little heavy-handed with my shadow. And over time, I've learned that, hey, Darina, put the brush down, put the mascara on before you keep adding color. Right. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm actually using a waterproof mascara today. This Epic Mascara is 
just that epic. Um, I usually will apply two coats to it just because I feel like that second coat really gives the pow factor. So what we're going to do this first coat, we're just going to be really light handed with it. Get the front and the back. This is something that I always forget. And get it on, get it going. When they say waterproof, they ain't joking around. This stuff is amazing. Yeah. So coat number one has completely dried. That is going to be the number one tip mascara application wise. I can, <laughs> as I was saying, um, let your mascara completely dry before applying a second coat. That is going to be the number one way to really avoid, avoid, um, clumpy lashes. Um, this particular mascara, the brush is designed so, so well. Um, so it's not going to clump, but letting it dry is really going to help avoid any clumping. And then what you're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do what's called tipping and we're just going to focus on the outer tips of the eyes. Doo -doo -doo. Now, another fun way too to increase that length and volume is go a little bit at an angle. You'll notice I'm not going straight up with the lash. I'm giving it a little bit of like an angle. So I like to pull at different directions, not completely sideways, um, cause that's gonna put the lashes together, but I'm kind of like, when I'm going out, I'm kind of flaring it outwards. Um, so you'll see here just the difference in length between the two. Absolutely love it. Such a simple way to make, oh, excuse me, such a simple way to really give it that pow factor. I'm loving it. So this particular look, I feel like it's really nice. Soft can be worn day or night. Um, and it's neutral enough that you can wear it really with any color. You don't necessarily have to, you know, have a certain shirt or things like that. It can be worn with anything. It's really going to help all eye colors pop because the rose in it picks up eye color. Now, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to top this one off. We're going to go keep it pretty simple, low key today. Um, so we're going to top it off with this liquid lipstick in the color sublime and this is a matte liquid lipstick do, 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 do. look at me talking and applying lipstick at the same time that's usually about the time that i get all over my teeth or my face And there you go, righty ladies. What do you think? Simple, right? Didn't take very long. Super fun. Practice, practice, practice. But I'm telling you, this one's pretty simple to pull off. If you need any help, of course you know I'm here.